What up though, it's Didi Ho and I'm back with another video. And y'all see the title. Okay, so it's gonna do this gonna be like a little QA slash mukbang because I'm hungry and I'm a little fat. I got the, uh, the cheaper kind, so it's not like a big mukbang because I'm broke. I put on my Instagram, I said, ask me questions, I'm answering them. So for the people, for like the 10 people that ask me like a whole bunch of questions, I love y'all. Shout out to y'all. We're fucking to it. That shit kinda good. All right. So, first question I got: Why do you like toes so much? <laughs> the reason why I love toes so much is because like it's so much like you can please a woman in so many ways besides sex. Like this generation just use sex as to please a woman. But they like, ew, you suck toes, you just sit down the dirt. Like, they gonna say ew because you don't know nothing about that. What's my favorite part about college? Next question. Um, <laughs> now for my favorite part about college is like going home, like on fall break and stuff. And my other favorite part is like um, the fact that we can go home. Um, another favorite part is uh, about college is like four years, I'm about to get this degree. That's my favorite part about college. Everything else sucks. Only people who, like I'm telling y'all, like I say this all the time, but I mean it. Only people who are hoes like college. Because they party all the time. And, and I'm not saying, like, there's other things to do in college. Like, parties is not the only, like, if you think parties is the only way to have fun, then you're, you're a boring ass motherfucker. I need to stop cussing. This is a family channel, okay? H3 and up. Um, but, uh, I don't like partying and stuff. And this town I'm in. We don't have nothing. So it's hard for me to even be like, let's go to the movies, let's shoot guys. Because everybody like, I want to go get, you know, do stupid stuff. That's not my type. College is boring. Okay? What's my longest relationship? Uh, that's sad. <sighs> my recent relationship was my longest relationship. Even though she hates me right now, but she broke up with me. Like, that was my realest girl out of all my relationships. Like, I just respected the girl I'm talking to now. But... I don't hate you, not that much. You cool. I don't wanna be with you though, but you cool. What's the perfect date to me? Uh, simple shit. Like I said, I got old school, so so like, I'm not gonna say picnic outside, but like in the car eating, and then like if we're like at the canal, for example, a canal is uh, in Naptown. A canal is like the, this river or something, or we're by any type of river. It don't have to be the canal. Just walk in when it feels good outside. Looking at the animals and shit. Like, it seemed boring, but it's so fun and just talking. Like, and then I love movies too, but that's like the second, third day after I get to know my baby. Whoever my baby is. How's college? Next question. College is actually, uh, not going good for me. I feel like sit here and lie. Why would I want to record? They're loud as fuck. Fuck it, I go have What's my biggest pet peeve? This is a good one. One is when somebody making noise when I'm trying to record. Two is um I didn't know that this aggravated me so much. Ignore that sound, I can't help it. But I don't know this aggravated me so much that I went to college. When I'm walking and you walking right behind me, don't do that. My anxiety too high for that. I don't know where y'all came from. But that means, like, I gotta watch. I already watched my back. Ass. Like, don't do that to me. Like, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. Like, don't walk right behind me. I have people stand right here in line with me. Like, why are you this fucking close? Like, give me three, at least three inches back. I don't know if it's just a minority thing. Because I know every minority I've been with, Latinos, Indians, black people, we all give each other space in line. Motherfuckers here who's not. The majority of this country do not give you space. This is me in line. This is the next person. Right here. Give me this fucking space. I smell your whole breath and your mouth's not even open. Like, bag, bag, give me 50 feet. For some reason, this generation don't like watching people who actually got something to offer other than fake pranks, fake relationships, and public interviews. That's what pet people about YouTube. Pet people about life is that we here. God said he was gonna come back, he's taking too long, I'm tired of working. Rough ass fucking wings. What type of chicken is this? Have I ever cheated on someone? Or has someone else ever cheated on me? Have I ever cheated on someone? No. 
I'm not finna sit here and lie. I'm gonna cheat out with tip to y'all. I ain't gonna sit here and sound perfect though. I have my flaws, obviously. The stuff wrong with me. But cheating is not one. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but we go to church. Like, <laughs> first of all, there's too many STDs in this world. I don't understand why people do that. No. I did, uh, do, like, if a girl broke up with me, I did stuff afterwards, but it's because they broke up with me. Like, what do you expect me to do? Cry? I do do that sometimes, though. Has everyone, has someone ever cheated on me? Yes, and they caused something. They try to blame it on me. When it got checked real quick. What that tongue do? You can find out. Do you want to be with someone? Do you want to be with someone never cheat even if you get tired for the rest of your life? For real. I think you asked me like, do I want to be with, like, will I be with somebody, like, married wise and never cheat? Yes, I could be with somebody and never cheat. If I had to change my major, what would it be? That's a good question. I am thinking about changing it actually. This is business. Where do you see yourself in five years? I got this from two people, so I'm only answering this one time. Where do I see myself in five, five years? Mm. House on the hill. We're a very big family. Now I'm playing, um, I do see myself living on my own, throwing money at my mama because I want her to make sure she, I don't want her my mama to struggle no more. That's my main goal. But by, in five years, I don't know, it's gonna take me a minute to come up with my own by myself because since I'm gay, I'm black and I'm a woman, all eyes are against me. So it's gonna take me 10 times longer than a regular average white person. It's gonna take me five times longer than a regular average black person. So it's gonna take me a minute to actually get to Bill Gates' wealth, but I'm gonna get to Bill Gates' wealth and I'm gonna surpass him one day. I speak it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You feel me? You gotta speak it, you gotta put it in existence. It's in there, it's gonna happen. I wanna buy my house, but, but in four to five years, I don't know. Living on my own with my wife. What's my major in college? Communication, concentration, and media. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like, to be honest, I don't even know. I just picked something that has to do with film because I like to edit. I want to learn how to edit better. What's my fears? Um, losing, losing like people I love. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna I'm live with certain people if they gone. Like, I don't even want to think about it. Like, I don't like I don't. I don't want to go to that, man. My second one, my second biggest one is after death. Like, I'm not scared to die. Like, everybody gonna die. It's a part of life. What I'm scared of is what if God be like, bitch, you ain't finished what I told you to and send me back here. Like, no. Or what if God be like, I mean, I love you, but you're not going to come in. You're just going to watch these gates. Like, I don't want to watch gates. I want to come in. I want to come in the gates. Like, you know? So, uh, conspiracies you think the most about. Uh, Kanika Jenkins. She's the reason why I got into Black Lives Matter type shit. Uh, before her, I knew about that Black People Matter. I knew that we wasn't like, um... It wasn't equal with nobody else because Trayvon Martin, for example, like you can kill us and get away with it. We kill each other and we get away with it. The because the government don't care about us and y'all dumbasses still killing each other. But that's that's another topic. Uh, but yeah, the Kanika Jenkins situation. Like obviously she was murdered. Obviously she was shut in that freezer. Like if you look at the pictures that they have, like she had her fist balled up, her hair was everywhere. Nobody's gonna walk in there with her hair fucked up like that. If you watch the video of her walking to the freezer. If, you believe that was really her walking to the freezer, her hair was straight. How somebody freeze up and their hair act like they, they, they just got in a fight. You feel me? I, I'm talking a lot. I'm sorry. What is my life goal? Buy my mama house. And I want to be successful. And, like, money-wise. Because I don't care what nobody say. Everybody like, money don't make you happiness. Yes, it do. Money bring you happiness. What made me get into YouTube? Um, in 2016, if y'all remember, I started a YouTube channel. And to be honest, David Parody, he funny as hell. He made me laugh, and I find myself, every time I came home from school, I'll watch him and I'll be happy, right? So, I'll be like, I want to be like that for somebody. I want people to I want people to watch my channel and be like, like, forget about their problems type shit. I like to make people laugh. I like to make people smile. I like to just be there for, I like to entertain people. Like, that's my thing. Like, I have talent. I can entertain you. I can literally sit, you can watch me eat and talk, and you'll be entertained. So, that's what made me get to YouTube. What celebrity should be present next? I feel like the next celebrity president should be a woman, Michelle Obama, because, like, we will change the world. Like, people think women are sensitive, but no. It's the men nowadays. Have you seen these men nowadays? They don't even fight with their hands anymore. They fight with only guns. Women should be the next president. Michelle Obama, thank you. And if it's not Michelle Obama, 
Uh, I think me. What is your definition of success? I like this. I think I already kind of said it. Money wise, I don't care what I say. Money wise, I need a lot of money. And then I need to be happy. How do you let go of someone you love but is so toxic to your life? I'm the wrong person to be asking that because I never break up with people. They always break up with me. I never leave people. They always leave me. All my life. I never broke up with somebody. So, besides the boyfriends, but that's because I was hiding myself and I never liked boys in the first place. So, that don't count. I'm talking about the women, the ones I really love. Um, I never broke up with somebody. But if I were to think about it, how can you mm, let go of somebody who's toxic for you? You already know they're a toxic person for you. So that's strike number one. You should already love yourself enough to be like, okay, this person is not good for me. What do I do next? Start by like taking action. Like, don't be like, I need to do this, but be scared to do it. Like, sitting on your ass, be like, I need to do this, but don't do it. That's like me saying, I need to post a video, but don't do it. That beat me all the time, but that's not me taking action. So I'm not gonna get no result. In order to get that result, gotta take action. What makes someone a host to me? Um, a lot of bodies. Simple. Are you a weak woman if you let the man or woman you're in a relationship bring you down. I don't, I don't think you're a weak woman. I wouldn't say you're a weak woman. But if it comes to like a repeatedly thing and you always let this person bring you down, there's something wrong with him, not you. Or her, not you. Where am I from? I was born in Gary, but uh, I moved to Nap when I was nine. So I guess I technically grew up in Nap, but I don't want to claim that because everybody in Nap is like a hoe. Okay, so my camera died. So back again, back to back. Okay, anyway. How did you make it to where you are in life now? Like I'm popping or something. Prayer, I guess. I'm just an average kid just trying to get through college because I'm lost. I don't know what else to do with these four years. What are more things you plan on doing after college? Investing. That's mainly really it. Investing in companies. What is my biggest pet peeve in a relationship? Uh, that's a good question. I hate when people are not as affectionate. Like I'm very affectionate, right? So I'm always touching on whoever I'm with. I'm always, I always want to kiss. I'm always want to do this, that, third. But it makes, it's, it's a pet peeve of mine if they don't want that. Like, if you don't want me to touch on you, if you don't want me all up under you every every hour, then that, that turns me off. Because, like, that's just how I am. And a lot of people don't like that. People are like, don't nobody want to be up under you 24-7? What's so hard about affection? So that's one of my biggest pet peeves. And another one is when somebody shuts me up because I talk. A lot, obviously, but like, when I say shut me up, I'm talking about like stuff that matters. Like, you can shut me up if I'm saying some dumb stuff. But if I'm talking about black people and you don't want to hear that, you're not for me because that's all I talk about. I talk about the community, cheating, of course. Uh, have you ever felt out of love with someone while with them? Mm -mm. Most of the time, when I'm in a relationship, I really love that person. They just, they don't want to fall out of love with me. I've never really been the one to fall out of love with somebody. What are your favorite snacks? It's a good question. I like Snickers. Kit Kats and Twix, they're, they're my main favorites. I like those, I like to try to eat chocolate. I love chocolate, I love chocolate. And then chip wise, I like hot crunchy curls, but I also like Doritos, Funyuns, Ruffles, that, that uh, cheddar, cheddar sour cream bag, those heat. If you were able to have lots of animals, how many would you have and what would that be? See, I don't want kids, so my animals gonna be my kids in the future. I want a pig, I want a turtle, I want a fat ass rat, I want a cat, I love cats. Like, that's my main. I love cats. Like, that's my heart. I want a dog. Dogs are cool, but cats are better. I don't care what nobody say. Dogs bark. Arr, arr, arr. Cats meow. Meow. It's quiet. I can go to sleep. Five main pets. That's, that's how many I have. Five. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Oh, that's. 10 years? House for real. Got my mama house. We got a couple, actually. Flipping, flipping houses, investing in houses, uh, investing in companies. We don't, we're not working no more. And I'm not like to say married. I want to be married by then. What are things you look for in, in a person that I like? Mainly what's in the heart. How do you feel about toe chicken and nibbler feet? <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know. Sierra asked me that shit. She crazy as hell. What made me like pussy? <gasps> Lord Jesus. Uh, take it. What made me? Oh, that didn't sound right. <laughs> what made me like pussy? Uh, if you saw my coming out story, I always like girls. It wasn't like something made me like girls. I already know my body just reacts to women only. No men. Why are you so thick? Give me some. You know. I'm going thick. 
I know I'm thick. The main reason why I'm thick, baby, is because I like to eat. Forget how many subscribers you got. To me, you're the best YouTuber out here. Uh, to me, I think you're absolutely right. I think you're very smart. When are are we gonna officially be close friends? She put respectfully. We can be friends now. It's gonna be hard for us to stay being close friends because I'm in college. We can try, but I don't think you really be, want to be my friend because I don't do what this whole generation likes. What's your relationship status? I'm talking to somebody. Talking to somebody. How's college life? Same question, not shit. I don't like it. How do you manage YouTube in college? I don't. Is it manageable? It's kind of not. It depends on if you're making money off of this. I'm not making money off of this, so it's really hard for me to be like, okay, I'm going to take time off of work to do this, something that I'm not making money off of, even though it makes me happy. I just go off topic every time. This is why I don't do this. What's your favorite food you could eat every day? Seafood. Fish, shrimp, crab. Ooh, I love seafood. What's your preference in girls? Someone who, who's gay, who only likes women. I'm not finna deal with that stuff no more. I'm tired of it. Sorry that I'm like this, y'all. If y'all bisexual, I have nothing against y'all. I just don't want to be with y'all. I like gay girls. That's my preference. Gay girls. And I like people that are shorter than me, y'all, because I'm kind of short. Like, I'm five, five and a half on a good day. Do you want kids? Hell no. Nah. Too much money, too much work. They cry too much. I got two nieces that's good enough. What's your favorite subject in college? Lunch. What's your daily routine? That's a good question. Really nothing. So let me go to the next question. Uh, when will you do a YouTube collab? And who would you want to collab with? I already did a YouTube collab with Anna Ariel. Terry on that's my homie. Shout out to her. Uh, but if I want to do another YouTube collab, it'll probably be with her, Dariana, me. That's it. Um, and I want to do something like Carbon Pumpkin. Something like something that will grab like people's attention. I want to attract people who like simple shit like that and what do i like to do daily eat sleep watch movies pray i like doing stuff like sky zone and dave and busters arcades and stuff like that i like to do a lot of things but i never have somebody really to do it with <laughs> that's it please tell me what y'all want to see from me next though because i don't know what y'all want and i'm just gonna do these little skits and do me Make sure y'all tell y'all loved ones y'all love them because tomorrow is not a promise and people are dropping like flies, baby. So tell your loved ones you love them, please. Like right now. It's real crazy. Manah, that's that. And I am out of here. You know I love to hustle with a brother, Pop. You know I love to hustle, we the best, that's nothing else This image in the magic, disappearing on myself Disappearing on myself